Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit unconventional and the reason is, is a buddy of mine before moving away gave me this whiteboard and I originally didn't have anything to do with it, but I figured if I'm going to continue the tutorial series, the tutorial series, eh, now I have a reason to use it. So, picking up where we left off, you should have my transform dot translate vector 3 dot up and that's about it and what that does is basically make it to where your your laser just goes skyrocket up so how do we make it to where it's gonna go at a reasonable speed and then it's also gonna disappear because if you notice that when the projectile goes it never stops if you look at the uh, inspector view you'll see that the y value continues to crease forever so what that's doing is actually using up system resources, and we don't want that. It's going to slow the game down. So we're going to, up until this point, you, sh you should have all of the skills necessary to complete the task. And this is where it's going to get really interactive, okay? I'm not going to show you how to code this, and I'm also going to tell you about a new method that you're going to have to look up and figure out how to use on your own. So starting with getting the, starting with getting the projectile to move at a reasonable speed, and this is what you have to do. So for starters, you're going to make a public variable, okay? So your public variable, okay, you're going to make a public, and oh my god, I have fifth grade handwriting. I apologize. <laughs> One second. I didn't test out the handwriting. All right, sorry about that. You're going to make a public variable. Variable. I hope you guys can read this. So you're going to make a public variable. What this is going to do is this is going to announce a feature we're going to use in our line of code, myTransform.Vector3.up. So you need a variable, and this variable is going to declare the projectile speed. Okay, so you need to declare a variable that's going to, that's going to do, that's going to basically equal the projectile speed. So you need to make a variable for projectile speed. And then you're also going to need what's called real time, and we talked about that. Okay, real time. And then you should know already what these are. And then here is going to be a trick question. Let's see if you guys know the answer to this. You're also going to need an input manager. You're going to need an input manager that gets the access of spacebar space bar okay so now you guys tell me if that's true or not where you need an input manager of spacebar now here's where the next part is so if you've gone ahead and you've done this and minus this question here all right you tell me if this is needed you can figure it out uh, what you need to do next okay is what you're going to notice now is that the bullet is moving at a reasonable space, a reasonable, t uh, you know, reasonable time, but now you'll still notice that it hasn't deleted, like it, it goes on forever, so we don't want that. So what you need to do now is you need to look up how to delete an object and think of it as game terms. You're a game programmer, you need to learn game terminology. So when we play games, what do we use? We use terms like destroy or uh, conquer. So Let's, let's start with destroy. Go ahead and open up your Unity reference and search for the word destroy. And see what you'll find. You might see uh, destroy method, destroy object, and then go ahead and read it. Um, what you need to do basically is, is below, below your code there, you need, to make an, you need to make an if statement to where if the y value equals this, then it's going to destroy your object. Okay? So you also need to do an if statement. If statement. Okay, and then you're gonna want the destroy method. Alright, and inside the if statement's gonna have a destroy method. Destroy method. Alright guys, so what this is gonna do is this is going to give you, you're going to declare your project variable, you're going to declare your projectile speed, you're going to set real time for the projectile, you're going to input a space bar, and you're going to create an if statement that will destroy the method. Okay, this is going to destroy the projectile. 
once it gets to a certain point, once it goes off the screen, it's going to destroy it. So once you've gone ahead and do that, we'll continue the next tutorial where we're going to create a prefab to where every time we hit the spacebar, the green will be triggered. The laser will be triggered. This is the outcome you should have. When you hit play, you'll notice that your projectile disappears off the hierarchy. So as soon as it gets to a certain Y value, the destroy method will take over. If you have any problems with this, feel free to post below and I'll give you enough help to where you'll be able to figure it out on your own. Thanks a lot.